Hello everyone. Today we will be focusing on past year exam questions for autumn 2017, part two of two. These presentations will be a continuation from part one. So the total number of questions for multiple choice questions will be 40. And it seems that this is the second slide from the part one. This is a continuation from the question 21 until 40. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number 21. Which statement about nitrogen and phosphorus is not correct? Atomic number of nitrogen is 7 and 15 for phosphorus. Nitrogen is in the second period, whereas phosphorus is in the third period. So, which statement about nitrogen and phosphorus is not correct? The answer will be B. Both are in the same period of the periodic table. Question number 22. Sodium and rubidium are elements in group 1 of the periodic table. Which statement is correct? Sodium has a lower density than rubidium. So the answer will be sodium has a lower density than rubidium. The answer will be B. 23. Which properties do the elements chromium, iron and vanadium has in common? So we can see that they all conduct electricity. They or their compounds can act as catalysts and they all form colored compounds. So the answer will be 1, 2 and 3. Why is iron gas used to fill electric lamps? Neon is one of the examples of noble gases. And one characteristic of this element is that each atom has a filled electron shell so the atom don't react with other atoms and it takes a lot of energy to remove an electron. So the answer to this will be why argon gas is used to be electric lamp. The answer because it is not the reactive. What is a property of all metals? Metals are lustrous, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat and electricity? The answer will be, all metals conduct electricity. Aluminium is extracted from buzit by electrolysis, which row shows the anode material and the anode reactions? The answer will be, anode materials will be carbon, and the reactions will be 2O2 negative, to produce O2 plus 4E negative. Which statement about the metal zinc is not correct? Metal zinc is usually produced through a different process called roasting and reductions. So the answer is it is not manufactured by the electrolysis of zinc blender. It usually produced through a different process for roasting and reductions. So in this question, he asked about what is statement which is not correct with regards to metal zinc. So the answer would be, it is manufactured by the electrolysis of zinc blender. Calcium nitrate decomposes when it is heated. What is the equations for the thermal decomposition of calcium nitrate? The reaction occurs when calcium nitrate is heated. As a result, there is a formation of calcium oxide, CaO, nitrogen dioxide gas, NO2, and oxygen gas, O2. The answer will be B. Sorry, the answer will be A. The flow chart shows stages in the treatment of a river water to produce drinking water. They have a river water and then it goes to settling tank and then it, next it goes to the stage X, 
stage one and it become drinking water. So what occurs at the stage X and Y? So the answer given here is water chlorination is the process of adding chlorine or chlorine compound such as sodium hypochlorite to water before it becomes drinking water. So in this case, the stage Y will be chlor chlorinations. Meanwhile, before the process of chlorination, chlorination so that people can drink drinking water, so it must go the process of filtration. So the stage X will be filtration. So the answer will be C. An experiment to investigate the effect of galvanizing iron is shown. The experiment is left for seven days. What happened to the water level in tubes X and Y? So what will happen is X consists of pure iron, while on the other hand, on the tube Y consists of galvanized iron. So what will happen in the tubes X, the water will be rises, and meanwhile, in the tube Y, there will be no change. Which metal is used as a catalyst in a harbor process for the manufacture of ammonia? An iron catalyst is used in the process and the whole procedure is conducted by maintaining a temperature of around 400 to 450 Celsius and a pressure of 150 to 200 ATM. So, which metal is used as a catalyst? So, definitely the answer will be an iron. Which process removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere? So, photosynthesis is a fundamental process by which plants and trees remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. During photosynthesis, plants use sunlight water and carbon dioxide to produce glucose, a form of sugar and oxygen. So in this process, the answer will be photosynthesis. Which row shows the condition used in the manufacture of sulfuric acid by the contact process? Sulfur trioxide is formed when sulfur dioxide react with oxygen in a ratio of one to one at a temperature of 100 Celsius to 450 Celsius and a pressure of 1 to 2 atm in the presence of V2O5 as a catalyst. And this reaction is a reversible in nature. So in this process, we can say that the answer for this will be D. Some marble chips, calcium carbonate, are heated strongly and substances X and Y are formed. Substance X is a white solid that reacts with water, giving out heat. Meanwhile, substance Y is a colorless gas. What are a substance X and Y? Substance X is a calcium oxide, CaO. When calcium carbonate, CaCO3, is heated strongly, it decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, where the chemical reaction is CaCO3 in a form of solid and it produces COO, CaO, which is calcium oxide in a form of solid plus carbon dioxide in a form of gas. So, meanwhile, substance Y is a colorless and it is a carbon dioxide which releases during thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. So the answer will be C. X is a calcium oxide, meanwhile Y is a carbon dioxide. The structure of four organic compounds are shown. Which compounds are unsaturated? So in this case, V is actually reflect ethylene. Ethylene is an unsaturated organic compound with a, com with a chemical formula of C2H4. 
the answer would be B. Which statement is not correct? The main constituent of natural gas is methane, CH4, is not ethane. While natural gas can contain other hydrocarbons like ethane, propane, butane, methane is typically the most abundant component, making up significant portions of natural gas. So the answer, which statement is not correct? So the answer will be the main constituent of natural gas is ethane. E, P, H, A, and E. So this is not correct. As I already explained this now, the main constituent of natural gas is methane, which is CH4. X, Y, and Z are three hydrocarbons. What do compounds X, Y, and Z have in common? You can see that they are all akin and they are all part of the same homologous series. The answer will be 1 and 2. The diagram show a reaction sequence. Butane, and that is will be an X process. Ethane, and there will be a Y process to produce ethanol. And then Z process to produce carbon dioxide and water. So what is the process of X? X is a process of when butane go through a process of cracking, it will become ethene. And when the ethene, the hydrations of ethene, it will produce ethanol. And when the ethanol gone through a process of combustion, it will produce carbon dioxide and water. The structure of ester is shown, which is we have here is C3 or CH3, CH2, COO, C2, CH3. So what is actually the ester? Ester is a combination of the reactions between acid and alcohol. When you, if you want to try to recognize what is acid, something combination the structure which consists of COOH is referring to acid and meanwhile alcohol is where you have OH and you have CH2. Okay, so in this case Based on the carbon structure, you can see is that when there is a two carbon, you can see that that is a ethanoid. Three carbons will be propanoid. Four carbons will be butanoid. Five carbons will be pentanoid, and six carbon will be hexanoid. Meanwhile, on the other hand, alcohol structure when there is a two carbon, you can see that is ethanol. Two carbon, three carbons will be propanol, and four carbons will be butanol, five carbons will be pentanol, and six carbon will be hexanol. So, what does it mean by uh, it, this? So, ester is actually you know that there is a reactions between acid and alcohol. So, when there is actually a duplicate or reacts to form the ester, so you can see that there is a CH3, CH2, and COOH is an acid plus with alcohol to form H2O. So, in this case, you can see that there will be two carbon. So there will be a propanoid. Propanoid will be three carbon combinations with alcohol to produce an ester. So in this case, we can say that this is a propanoid acid 
combinations with ethanol to produce water H2O. The answer will be B. And question number 14, a polymer can be made from methyl propane. And which diagram show the structure of the polymer? What does it mean by polymer? Polymer is a duplicate into many structure. Normally, in one carbon consists of four bonds. And one bond consists of four electron. So in this case, the question is a polymer can be made from methyl propane. So from this equation, you can break up into many duplicate structure of polymer. So in this case, from CH2, CH3 and CH3, you can duplicate into many moles to form the structure of polymer as per diagram D. So with that being said, I would like to end my presentation. Hope that you understand all the answer and justifications. And by the way, before I end this presentation, please subscribe to Germ Study Lab YouTube channel. There will be a customized note available at beacons.ai slash germstabula and other options to access to the Beacons website. You can go through germstabula Instagram. That's all for the day. Hope to see you later in the next presentation. Thank you very much.